This video will show you how to use the matching function on GSSI's Flex family of concrete scanners to ensure that your depth estimates are as accurate as possible. To begin, we need to collect a perpendicular scan over a target. The matching function uses the shape of the hyperbola generated by a point reflector, such as a rebar, to determine how fast the GPR wave is traveling through the concrete. However, this shape also changes depending on what angle you scan across the target. In order for the matching function to work, we need to collect a measurement across a target at a 90 degree angle. I'll do this by locating the rebar in three locations and connecting my marks with a straight line. Then I can scan perpendicular to the straight line. Now that we have a point reflection on our screen, let's open the collapsible menu on the left side of the user interface. Click the rightmost icon at the bottom to open the depth panel. This video covers the matching option. Select matching and then set your cursor to the middle of your target. You can use the oscilloscope to set your cursor to the first strongest peak in the signal. This will correspond to the white band in this example and whenever calibrating using a metal target. Once you have aligned your cursor with the target, use the slider in the depth panel on the left to adjust the dielectric constant until the real and fake hyperbola shapes match. When you've done this, you can close the side menu. Then you can complete the job with confidence that the depths displayed on your flex are as accurate as they can be, plus or minus approximately 10% of the calculated depth. Thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments if you have any questions.